So what physics quantity is on the y-axis? Let's answer this by looking at this question from the 2019 OCR A-level physics paper. We know that on the x-axis we have r, where r is the distance from the sun. What is the mystery quantity on the y-axis? Is it the speed of a planet? Is it the period of a planet? Is it the gravitational potential of the sun? Or is it the gravitational field strength of the sun? Now will be time for you guys to decide, so feel free to pause this video while I grab myself a coffee while you guys work out the answer. Okay, well, let's have a look at the actual answer. First off, as it's often very, very helpful with multiple choice questions, let's see if we can eliminate some of the answers outright. So C and D, the gravitational potential of the sun and the gravitational field strength, well we know that the gravitational potential is equal to minus gm over r, so on a graph it will look, it will be, first off it will be in this quadrant over here and will look something like this, and uh, the gravitational field strength strength g will look in a similar way because that's just minus gm over r squared uh, which will look something closer to this so it can't be c and it definitely cannot be d. So the question is, is it a or is it b? Well let's have a look at the speed of a planet. In order to find the speed of a planet uh, we, can, uh, we can approximate this using the centripetal force setting that equal to the gravitational force so mv squared over r will be equal to, let's have a look at the magnitude of the gravitational force because we're looking for the speed, so it'll be gm m over r squared. So we can cancel out the m's and we can rearrange for the speed, we're going to get that v squared will be equal to gm over r, meaning that v will be equal to the square root of gm over r. So v turns out is actually proportional to 1 over the square root of r. So if I was to plot a graph of uh, v against r, it will not look like this, it will look something kind of closer to this, v this is v and this here is r. So we have a shape which is going to be increasing. Well, we know that it's not going to be a, and by the process of elimination, we know that the correct answer has got to be b. Why is the correct answer b? Well, this is all about Kepler's third law. Remember, Kepler's third law says that the square root of the orbital time period is proportional to the cube of the orbital distance, r cubed. There's a constant proportionality here, which is 4 pi squared over gm. So this means that t will be equal to 4 pi squared over gm, and this thing is square rooted, times r. Now the square root of r cubed is just going to be r3 over 2. So the, gr the shape of this will actually be very, very similar to the graph we have here, and therefore the correct answer is b. Okay folks, hope you've enjoyed this uh, question. If you're after another multiple choice, Check out my video on physics units just here.